perfectly. Are your vision. <laughs> we won't need it. Amen. God is good. Amen. Mary, did you know that your little baby boy is the great I am? The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Lord of Lords. There's no greater love on this earth or any place else than the love of God. And the way that God loves us is the way that he's teaching us to love one another. Amen. I know I'm right about it. Amen. Because we don't come about this love naturally. Amen. I'm getting an echo. Yeah. We don't come about this love naturally, but it's supernatural. God places it inside of us each and every day. He's taken out the stony hearts and given us hearts of flesh. Amen. Right? Amen. I, I hope so. For Christians, I hope that's amen. an amen. I, I, I know that mine gets a little right. scratchy, little stony here. <laughs> he has to come and take it out and, and give me another That's one. right. And, and not smooth stones. He has given me a heart of flesh, amen. a heart of compassion. Amen. I, I praise God for the gift of helps again. Uh, uh, brother, um, I just... You and Dennis just showed up and, and showed out. He wasn't feeling well, but Ken came and helped me clean the church. Yeah, Amen. So Amen. He, it's just a blessing, Amen. the gift of help, the things that God has placed on our hearts. Even though this is a happy time, Christmas time, we're all given gifts. There's also a time of sadness with loved ones that have gone to sleep in him. And we're praying for those families. We're praying for their restoration, for their healing that they might know that they'll see their loved ones again. Amen. we got to have Amen. this hope. Amen. we got to have this great hope that God is who he says he is. I want to thank you again, Sister Maria, for the girls Amen. and for training them up to, to be a blessing Amen. everywhere they go Amen. in the community as well as in the church. I want to talk to you uh, briefly this morning about a love that's stronger than death. A love that's stronger than death. Heavenly Father, this morning, we just give you all honor and glory. And we ask God that you will hide any of us that's self behind your cross and that only you will speak. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm always excited when I get another opportunity to come to church. Amen. Amen. I, I never thought that when I was little they had to make me go to church, right? But now that I'm grown up in the Lord, I am so happy to come to church. Amen. And God is the reason that I'm happy about coming to church. Mm -hmm. God has blessed us, so blessed us, that we really need to know why we come to church. Mm -hmm. I, we come to church because we love him, because Amen. he first loved us. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary didn't understand it. Uh, the disciples didn't understand it, and sometimes you and I don't won't understand, understand it. it. That's right. But a lot of times we start out, and I know that I've given everyone in my church, uh, God's church here, this little book called Steps to Christ, right? I know some of you've read it, and some of you haven't, and some of you are going to get round to it. Amen? Amen. Amen. And when we went to Colonia, they gave us a little <laughs> coin, and it said, round to it, meaning those things that we're going to get around to doing. But I'd like to tell you that this book leads us to none other than the Bible. Amen. It tells us, point you back to the Bible <clears throat> so that we'll know just how important God is to us. And I know it looks like a big book, but I tell you, the more you read it, the stronger you'll get, the more desire you'll have to read God's word. Because we used to be people of After the book. book. And the book is what makes us strong. The Bible is what makes us strong. One of the first chapters in Steps to Christ is talks about God's love for man. God's love for man. Mm -hmm. I don't think we really quite grasp this wonderful love that God has for humanity. Enough to make him, uh, compel him to send his son to die in our behalf as our substitute. I shared with you several times now that my foster son didn't understand it, and he's living in my own house, and I come to church every week and talk about Jesus, and he didn't even know that Jesus died for us mm. until he saw it on a movie sitting at my side. Did he really die and come back like that? That's scary, he said. I'm scared to go to sleep now because he kept seeing Jesus come back and speak to people. 
God doesn't want to mingle us and help us, let us to be fearful. He doesn't want us to be afraid of him. Mm. He wants us to learn to love him. Amen. See, it's hard to love somebody that you're afraid of. True. Isn't True. It? True. Yeah. It's hard to love someone that we think he's coming to get us rather than to hurt us, mm. to help us. He's not trying to hurt us. He's trying to help us. Right? Amen. Uh, Steps to Christ, the first chapter, talks about God's love for man and how that our love was in such harmony that nothing could separate us. Adam and Eve were, and, and, and God were walking together in harmony in the garden. But like you said in Sabbath school, it's not that way anymore, right? We're not walking in harmony all the time That's now. True. But you know what happens to us? The more we read the word of God, the stronger mm -hmm. our ability to love becomes. people becomes. True, true. If I were to do a children's story, and I thought about it today, and it was like Christmas, you know, we give good gifts to each other. I had this gold box and this silver box, and I'd have one of them filled with rocks. And most people will choose the heavier gift than the lighter one. And then the other box, I would put all, I love this Hobby Lobby. It has all these hearts that are silver and gold and different colors, but they're out of paper mache, but they're covered with glitter. And in that box, I put these hearts, and I'd ask people, which one would you rather receive? Most people want the heavier box because it means there's something, something bigger and bigger better than. in the box. And then I'd open it and share with them that in this box are rocks. Mm -hmm. And this box are all new hearts of all different shades and colors and shapes mm -hmm. and sizes. Because God said in the last days, he's going to create in us a new heart. Amen. He's going to take out the stony hearts and give us hearts the of flesh. flesh that we'll be able to love him back mm -hmm. and to love one another. I know that David said it best when he said, I almost lost my grip on God. Turn with me to Psalm 73. I almost lost my grip on God. I saw how the, the rich were prospering and the <laughs> rich were getting richer, he said. And I saw how they were prospering. They weren't really hurting like other people are. They just get whatever they want. And they don't they don't hurt. They don't have confusion like we do. Read it in your, I'm summarizing, but you read it. This is a man after God's own heart saying he almost lost sight of God because he saw how the wicked were prospering. And it seemed like the people that were praising God were not. He said, I almost lost my grip. What does yours say in Psalm 73? Uh, what verse? What does it say? Stop with the verse. I almost lost my grip on God. Different versions are going to say it a different way. I almost stumbled. I almost, come on. Stumbled. Almost stumbled and my step had very slipped. Almost slipped. Oh, yeah. Keep on going. So I was envious of the boastful when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Mm -hmm. But there are no pains in their death. Mm. But their strength is firm. Mm -hmm. They are not in trouble as other men. Nor are they plagued like other men. Mm -hmm. Therefore, pride serves as their vessel. <coughs> Violence covers them like a garment. Their eyes bulge with abundance. Mm. They have more than heart could wish. They scoff and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walks through the earth. Mm. Therefore, his people return here and waters of a full cup are drained by them. And they say, how does God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who are always at ease. They, they increase in riches. Mm -hmm. Surely I have cleansed my heart in vain <laughs> and washed my hands in innocence. For all day long I have been plagued and chastened every morning. David has gone through, isn't he? Yeah. You guys ever felt this? Oh, yeah. Come on now. Oh, you have yeah. felt this. If you're living this life and, and you're going through the valleys and you're going through the mountains, you have felt at one time that David had. And David goes on to say in different versions that if I had shared all the bad things that I was feeling, <coughs> I would have helped your children be lost. <laughs> you know, that's why some preachers grow up <laughs> almost liars. Like they don't have any problems. 
And then you come to church and wondering, well, I must not be saved. I must not be holy enough. I must not pray enough. But this is David, a mighty warrior, mm -hmm. saying God's that heart. his foot almost slipped. He almost let go of God, one version says. I almost stopped believing in another version that says, David was about to give up because he was being chased and hunted by the enemy and he was feeling the pressure of the day and of life and he said, I almost gave up. But you know what gave him hope? Until I entered your sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 I entered your sanctuary by myself mm -hmm. on Friday night and lay myself here before God. Amen. I walked in the valley of the shadow of death, and I fear no evil. David is working out his emotional state. Amen? Amen. Some of us are very highly intelligent, but emotionally <clears throat> we're midgets. Amen. Amen? Amen? God wants our emotional self to grow up into the stature of the men and women that he will have us to be. He said, until I entered the sanctuary of God, this is the message Bible, then I saw the whole picture. The slippery road you put them on with a final crash in a ditch of delusions. In the blink of an eye, disaster. You see, the, the wicked are going through. If you don't think they're hurting, just read your news on who died in 2018 and the rich in things. Amen? Mm -hmm. There's so many people that we uh, think that we admire that can't even sleep at night. That's right. Or they're having a party on the bottom floor on your behalf at Miss Whitney, and you're in the bathtub above losing your life. All life is going while the party is flowing downstairs. Mm -hmm. Don't think that the wicked aren't going through. David knows that what he's thinking is not right, but he's in trouble. He's been hounded by the devil. Anybody ever know the devil is on your track? That's right. It seems like things That's are getting right. worse instead of getting better. Oh, I know that God will send you some word from his word or through another preacher or speaker or friend to encourage you Amen. when you're going through. Amen. I was going through, and my cousin that never talks about God sent me something from T.D. Jake. says, what do you do when you pray and things get worse? Mm. I said, stop. That's mm. God speaking to me. What do you do when you pray and it gets worse? Mm. It gets worse and worse. You should listen to that when you go home and be encouraged like I am. You see, God gives his truth through everyone. Here a little, there a little. It's up to us to come and share the whole truth with them so that they can go the right way. Amen? Amen. It's not enough to know that Jesus saved, Jesus saved, and then not obey him. God requires obedience. <clears throat> if it were not possible, he would not require it. How That's can true. we as That's sinful true. people obey God? I've that, heard that question come from true. this congregation true. Of, of new people that had come in. And I said, only by faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. Only by faith. Mm -hmm. It's not by performance. If you say you're perfect, you're a liar and the truth is not in you. That's right. It's only by faith that you and I are counted as perfect. Mm -hmm. Only one is perfect. That's right. Only one. Amen. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's the perfect man, the perfect God. And because he knew that you and I could not live a perfect life without him, mm -hmm. he came and died on the cross. Because he said, oh, by and by, she's going to slip. Mm -hmm. He's going to slip, mm -hmm. but I'm going to be there to catch them. Mm -hmm. By grace, we are saved through our faith in what God has done for us on the yeah. cross. But that gives us no license to remain practicing sinners. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. It gives us encouragement that no matter how many times my face slips, mm -hmm. no matter how many curves I turn around the bend, if I keep my eyes on Jesus, he will put me back on the right path. Mm -hmm. This is what David says about himself. I was becoming bitter and totally consumed by envy. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Uh, this is the same chapter, 73. And I was totally ignorant and dumb as an ox. In your very presence. Mm -hmm. King James says, I, I was stupid. <laughs> oh, I was surprised that it said that. <laughs> he says, I was stupid. I was acting stupid. And I'm still in your presence. But you take hold of my hand. And you wisely and tenderly 
lead me, and then you bless me. Mm -hmm. Oh, if David had only realized how many times he had been forgiven, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have been so harsh with looking at the rich and what they were getting mm -hmm. and what they were receiving. If he had remembered, and I think he did, because God calls him a man after his own heart. heart. He remembered how he took a woman that wasn't his. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. It's not the Hollywood love story. He used his power, his title. Bring her to me. He knew who she was because he asked people who she was. Yep. And he ha she happened to be a relative of Uriah. This wife of, his, of Uriah's was the wife of one of his mighty men. Mm -hmm. The one that went and got water for him when he said, oh, if I just had a taste of water from my hometown. They broke through the enemy lines and got water for him. This Uriah, he took his wife for his own. And killed him. Uh, amen. We need to know that we are capable of anything without the Holy Spirit living in us. Amen. amen. That's why Christ in us is our only hope of glory. And like David, we're going to come to some point in our life where we say, I don't know why I'm thinking the way I'm thinking, but I'm going to give my thoughts to Christ that he can cleanse them and take away the rocks and give me a new heart. Yeah. 51, created me a clean heart is an important scripture. You can't remember it enough because you're going to need it as I have needed it. Amen. Amen. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God. Renew right spirits within us and then lead us to the rock that's higher than ourselves. Amen. He says, God, I'm telling the world what you did for me. Mm -hmm. At the end of this, after he gets over himself and over his envy and his jealousy, in the end he says, I'm in your very presence and you're taking my hand and leading me. I've made the Lord God my home, my refuge, and my strength. We need to know that God is going to have to strengthen us unholy people to become holy. Amen. Each and every day. He's not a, a fear mongler. We don't scare people into the truth. We lead them like sheep to Jesus. Amen. And he guides them into truth. This church is God's church. Amen. 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 She is going to be victorious. Amen. And each and every day, you and I are going to go through persecution for righteousness sake. Amen. Amen. We're not being persecuted by the law yet. We're persecutors of one another. Amen. I'm going to always go back at the end of the year, remind myself and you that it does us no good to keep coming to church without coming to Christ. <laughs> Only Christ can change this evil heart. Mm. Only Christ can give us the love for somebody that's not willing to be loved. True. True. Each and every day. I come across something beautiful on the internet, and it's something I want to share with you uh, this evening, this afternoon, if I can pull it up. First, I want my grandson to help me with this machine, him and Michelle. And uh, there's a Baptist minister. It, it's, I have it lowered there. All you do is pull it up and play it, the first one. Because sometimes I don't think we re remember who Jesus is to us. And this is one of the strongest ones that I got from uh, one of my preacher friends that she showed during a, a women's retreat we went to. And it talks about nothing but Jesus. We need to talk about it more instead of ourselves and our problems. And share him. The Bible says, my king is the king of the... Do you know him? He's the greatest phenomenon that has ever 
Christmas, sometimes we get this little picture of Jesus and we put him in a baby and in a manger. wrap him in a manger. <laughs> oh no, he's a king of kings and lord of lords. And he's coming back again. He's coming back for his church, his bride without a spot or wrinkle. And the only one that's going to be able to stand is the one that has clean hands by faith Amen. in him. Amen. We need to know that Jesus requires obedience of us because his son came and filled it, fulfilled it for us. Amen. And now we put that faith in Jesus. Amen. That's our king. I wonder sometimes, do we know him? Mm. Well, maybe let, if I put it in, in, in some social media term, you'll understand me a little better. This is what my friend said. She just retired, bless her soul. Amen. She got tired of the conference. She said, I'm out. I'm gone. Amen. Amen. I'm going to serve God full time now. I praise the Lord. Amen. It says, I'm walking into 2019 with a clear heart and mind. If you owe me, don't worry about it. Amen. You're welcome. If you wrong me, it's all good. Lesson learned. If you're angry with me, you've won. I've let it go. If you aren't speaking, it's cool. I truly love you and I wish you well. If you feel I've wronged you, I apologize. It wasn't intentional. Life is too short for all the pent-up anger, holding of grudges and extra stress or pain. Here's to 2019. Remember, forgiving someone is for you, not, not the for other them. person. Amen. So don't block your blessing coming into 2019. Amen. Don't block your blessing. See, I can't speak Bibleese to you if you're not reading the Bible. But I can speak social media to you because you understand exactly where I'm coming Amen. from. We need to stop playing church and do what God has enabled us to do. Ask God to give you the heart Amen. that he wants to give each Amen. and every one of Amen. us. Because it behooves none of us, I'm going to remind you, to talk about none of us. behooves none of us to talk about none of us because all of us have done wickedly and evil. Amen. 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 You know what I'm That's talking the truth. about. Don't stick there and look at me. I That's told the truth. you. 
God is good and we are not. Amen. Sometimes Lord needs to preach the same sermon over and over, over again. And over. Because some of you get it and some of you don't. Amen. 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 That's up to you and God. But as for me and this house, Amen. we're going to walk in the 2019. And I wish you could walk in there with me. Amen. Because I'm going to walk above an Obama strut. I'm going to walk with holy highness because I know he loves me. Amen. Amen. Jesus loves us. Amen. And he wants us to know how much he loves us. Amen. Do you love him? Mm. Do you love Jesus? Do you know him? Amen. I wonder if you know him. Amen. Because if you love Jesus, my Bible says, how can you say you love God who you've never seen and can't love the person that's sitting next to you every Sabbath Amen. or every Sunday or every Wednesday or whatever day you go to church? So as for me and my house, like Miss Sandra's going to do, I'm walking in with a clear heart and mind. If you owe me, don't worry about Amen. it. Amen. You're welcome. If you wronged me, it's all good. Lesson learned. If you're angry with me, you won because I've let it go. If you aren't speaking, it's cool. I truly love you and I wish you well. If you feel I wronged you, I apologize. It wasn't intentional. Life is too short. Life is too short. Somebody say too short. Too short. Life is too short for all the pent up anger, holding of grudges and extra stress or pain. Here's the 2019. Remember, forgiving someone is for you, not the other person. Amen. So don't block your blessing. blessing. I'm going to borrow that too. Amen. <laughs> don't block your blessing. We need to know that Amen. forgiveness is for us, not the other person. God forgave us. He said, forgive one another as I have forgiven you. David was looking at things the wrong way. And started envying the wicked. Started hating on them, right? Instead of loving them, thinking, if they don't change, they're going to be lost. Mm. God is not a fear monger. Mm. He doesn't give us fear. He gives us hope. So when we come to the house of hope, we need to leave with hope. Yeah, Amen. Amen. So if somebody owes you. Tell them it's all good. It's all Amen. good. <laughs> it's all good. If somebody not speaking to you, say that's all right. I've given it up. Amen. Whatever you're going through, I'm telling you, we're in communication with one another in relationship. If we're Christians and we're Seven Day Adventist Christians, we have another book that encourages us to read this book called Cross Christ Object Lesson. Amen. It teaches us how to live in relationship with people that we can't get along with. <laughs> mm. Well, I know I'm telling the truth. Mm. Y'all yeah, better don't look at me strange. All of our churches got somebody you can't get along with. True. You may be the pastor. True. Amen. True. Amen. You got to be like Brother Eustace and myself and say, go boldly to the throne of grace, grace for mercy and pray, Amen. but then go to the pastor Amen. too. Amen. And say, this deal is our it. problem, our challenge, and let's deal Amen. with this. That's right. Don't block your blessing. Amen. There is a love that's stronger than death. Jesus has proved it. Give up your pettiness and come on, let's go home. Amen. 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 Do you know him? Amen. If you don't, you want to know him, right? Amen. We're going to continue. Brother Eustace is going to help me. We're going to continue reading the Bible together. We're going to continue studying the scriptures together. And we're also going to put those books that our prophetess have left to us, the steps to Christ, mm -hmm. the great controversy. I know there's controversy over the great hope. But because our people don't read a thick book, they made a thin one to get you started. But only the Bible is going to give you true life. Because it is the word made flesh to us. You know that we're so evil without God. We're capable of hurting one another over and over and over again. I call it Christian domestic violence. Mm. Mm. Amen. We will do a drive-by in the church and then read it and watch it on TV and say, oh, isn't that a shame to come to church and do it again? Mm. I know what I'm talking about. Amen. Because sin is us, but Christ is coming to take it out. Amen. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you ought to read Facebook more often. <laughs> Give it up! Turn it loose and let God take care of you mm -hmm. and your challenges too. Mm -hmm. We're not perfect, amen? Amen. Neither amen. was Paul. And when he got into it with little John Mark and didn't want him to go on in the ministry with him, Barnabas, Barnabas took, took him. him. 
Right. And then Paul came to his senses years later and said, it is good that he comes and ministers with me. Amen. Oh, that our words be few and our prayers be many. Mm -hmm. We need to walk into 20. This is the last Sabbath of 2018. Amen. 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 Mm -mm -mm. We Amen. ought to be giving up so much of ourselves mm -hmm. to our God and praying for so much more of him to come into our lives. Amen. It's going to be a sad day for Jesus to come and say, I never knew you. <coughs> yeah, you went to church and you preached and you taught and you taught the Sabbath school lesson and the Sunday school lesson and, and you had all the books that Ellen White wrote at your disposal and you never picked them up. Mm. And then you're wondering why you're so down. Oppressed, oppressed by the enemy. Mm -hmm. Look up. David was oppressed by the enemy too. Mm -hmm. David became depressed too by his circumstances. But at the end of every chapter, almost every one, he ends up praising, praising and God. glorifying God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we need to do likewise. So I wonder if you know him. Mm -hmm. Have you met this God that is everything to us, that gave the best for us? that we might give our hearts to him. Amen. Oh, I, Amen. I just want to tell Amen. you this morning, Amen. I just briefly want to tell you that God thinks we're worth saving. Amen. God wants to use you and me to help other people, but he can't use you if you don't want to be changed. Amen. God cannot use a dirty vessel. Amen. He wants to cleanse us and come in, teach us about this, this greater love, this love that's so strong that death could not hold it. Pilate could not pronounce against it. He said right above his head that he is the king of kings. Mm -hmm. Every knee is going to confess that Jesus is Lord. Will you confess it today? Mm -hmm. Is Jesus Lord of your life? Mm -hmm. Only you can answer that question. That's right. Amen. That's right. Stand with me. Heavenly Father, we're leaving 2018 and all the things that are in it. This is the last Sabbath of this year. And God, we're looking forward to your appearing. And we want to become so close to you that there's no space for doubt or anything else that might separate us from the love of God. Lord, we ask your anointing upon every person that is hearing this word and receiving it and knowing that only by faith can Jesus help us to appropriate what we're talking about today. Lord, we have some guests here today that are gonna be leaving soon. We want your, your anointing to continue to be upon their ministry, yes. upon their love and their marriage, and watch over their mother and their mother-in-law while they're away. Oh God, you entrusted her to us yes. as a church. Lord, we're gonna love her even when we fight, yes. amen. amen. We're gonna love her when we disagree, we're not gonna be disagreeable. Yes. Lord, my own family came here at my installation and prayed before the same church and said, we love her. We hope you treat her right. Amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We ask, dear God, that you forgive us, for we know not what we do when we hurt one another. We know not what we do from the pulpit to the door. Amen. But, God, you have come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. If there's some challenge and some disagreement, Lord, let us make it right with you first and then with one another. We do not want to hear those words, I never knew. Because God gives us his love in us. Bless this couple, Lord, that has come and blessed us with its song and music and time and fellowship. Lord, bless each member that is here and those that had a desire to be here and those that are too ill to be here, even those, Lord, are too discouraged to be here. Mm. We ask, dear God, that you would use us in 2019 like never before. Yes, Lord, we want to be used by God. We want to be on fire for you yes. to set Hanford ablaze with your love. Yes. Lord, we ask this in the mighty, wonderful name of Jesus. And we ask that you anoint every person here to be a part of that ministry in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God, in advance for what you're going to do. We expect it. We anticipate it. Yes. We're urgently seeking after you because we want to be changed. We want to be healed. We want to be whole. And then we want to share you like David did in Psalm 73. We want to share you with everyone everywhere we go. In Jesus' name. That's your desire today? 
Amen. That's my desire. I want to be better in 2019 than 2018. I want to be used by God even more this coming year than the one that we're passing into. You may be seated. Closing with this scripture, Galatians 4, 4 in your Bible tells us about Let's go there. Galatians 4.4. 4. <clears throat> when you have it, say amen. amen. Somebody read it in their version. Galatians 4.4. 4. When you're ready, we'll wait for you, Maria. When heaven's clock struck the time for God's son to arrive, he came born of a human mother, born to live out the law. Amen. Let me give it to you in the message from 1 to 4. Let me show you the implications of what God has done for us. As long as the heir is a minor, you know, as long as your child is a minor, he has no advantage over a slave. Though legally he owned the entire inheritance, he's subject to teachers and tutors and administrators until whatever date the father has set for his emancipation. That is the way it is with us. You and I are inheritors of everything, but right now we're just like slaves. Until God comes and puts it all in our hands, we're to share it and share it and share it. When we were minors, we were just like slaves. Ordered around by simple instructions, the tutors and administrators of this world with no say-so in our conduct over our lives. But when the time arrived, 4-4 says, that was set by God the Father, God sent his son born among us of a woman, born under the conditions of the law so that he might redeem those of us who have been kidnapped by the law. Mm. You know where, how we're kidnapped by the law? Because the word of God says the wages of sin is death. That's the penalty. So nobody should be breathing and looking at one another right, right now. But we were kidnapped by it because of sin. But how are we redeemed by it? We're redeemed through Jesus Christ. We have been set free to experience our rightful heritage. God meant for us to enjoy eternal life. Amen. You can tell for sure that you are now fully adopted as his own child because God sent forth the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of his Son, into our lives and is crying out, and every one of us that is a Christian is crying out, Father, help me. Amen. Father, deliver me. Father, change me. You and I have been kidnapped by the law, the penalty. The law is love. Do you love me? Jesus said to Peter. Do you love me? Then feed my sheep, feed my lambs. Share the love of God with one another. Let God into us so that we can share him. When the time was fully come, you know what that time is? The time of the end. We're living in the end time. There's no time to play. We must be ready, as Brother Eustace keeps saying. We got to be ready, not always getting ready. We got to be ready when Jesus comes. And it's not a fear thing, it's a love thing. I want to be ready. I want someone else to be ready too. Amen. So in the fullness of time, God sent his son. That's this time. That's our time, like Sonia said, right now. It's our time, right? Amen. For us to give our hearts anew to Jesus so that he can transform them into the brilliant, brilliant stars he wants them to be. God, we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you in advance for yes. what you're doing in us. You're not done yet. We're still a work in progress. Yes. I'm going to ask uh, Brother Eustace <coughs> to close. Her. Before we close, um, it is always said that after a message, there should be an appeal. Mm -hmm. I did not hear an appeal, so I'm going, to, I'm going to present an appeal. I am so happy that I chose to come here today. Yeah. You know, sometimes you go places and you do things because you think you're ordering your steps. But God is actually ordering our steps Amen. and directing us where we need to be. This message today, I don't know if you guys are really thinking about what you heard. But if, if any of us are holding on to anything within us against someone else, we're entering 2019. We need to give it up. I mean, 
if we leave this church this minute, God forbid, somebody run into us and we die. And if we have not get that situation right, you know we are lost. Do you realize that if we don't do that, we are lost? If we have anything amongst anyone else, whether they're here in this church right now, or whether they're home or in another, in another part of the state, if we have anything against anyone, we need to get it right. We need to do it ASAP. I mean, it is, it is very important that we do that. So my appeal is simply this. If you have heard something today that has moved you, have touched you, knowing that, knowing that within, within you there is something that says, I have not forgiven this person, or I have something against someone and I need to get it right. Whatever it is, are you willing to give it up today? I mean, you, only you know. Only you know. I don't know what might have happened or what's going on, I have no idea, no clue. All I do know is that if you have something against someone, an act, a, a disagreement, whatever it is, and you have not given it up to God today, I'm raising my hand, Lord, I want to make, be able to make sure that I'm giving it up. Because I don't want to hold on to that and be lost because of pride. I don't want to be lost. If that is your decision, if that is, I mean, this is between you and God. Yes. Only you know what's happening in your lives. Yes, right. If this is your request, if this is your decision, kneel with me as I pray for you guys. As I pray for myself. Because I'm included in this. The pastor is included in this. We all are included in this. Yeah. But I will pray and ask the Lord to, because he sees, he sees, he knows. And he knows everything. And he, there's an accurate record that has been kept in heaven. We don't, I don't know what's in there. You guys don't know what's in there. But he does. Mm -hmm. And things that we think might be okay, might not be okay with him. Mm -hmm. So let's kneel. If you, if you are able to, if you can, that's fine. Just but reverently bow your heads. And we'll pray. And ask the Lord that he will, that he has seen our decision. Mm -hmm. And that he will accept that decision and that he will remove it from us. Father God in heaven, I thank you for allowing us to be here this moment, to hear this message. Lord, this is a divine appointment that you sent us here for. Lord, we didn't know what we would hear today, but you sent a message that appeals to our very nature. And Lord, it's up to us as individuals to make it right. You cannot do that for us. You have made the provisions, mm, like the brother said earlier, and I told him I was going to use it. The car is paid for, but if you don't go and get it, it's of no use to you. Amen. Lord, you have paid the penalty for us. It is already paid for, but we have to accept it. Amen. But there are conditions that need to be met along this journey. Mm. Yes, we accept you as Lord and Savior, and we are justified just at that moment, mm -hmm. just as we have never sinned. Mm -hmm. But sanctification is the life, it's a lifetime yeah. work that we need to do. Mm -hmm. And so we are not saved on one time and always saved. No, this is a lifetime process for salvation. Mm -hmm. And as you work in us moment by moment, you, Lord, are clearing up our lives. You are restoring us to the image your image in us, when your image is fully reflected in us, Lord, then you will come. Yes. That's what you're waiting for, Lord. Not for the President of the United States or the other presidents. You're waiting for your image mm -hmm. to be fully restored in us. Mm -hmm. Then you will come. Thank Lord, you saw the decision that we've made today. Yes. If we have had any disagreement or any issue concerning anything yes. against anyone else, Lord, we ask forgiveness. <laughs> Rest that you will cleanse us. Lord, we, we, we want you to take it from us. Mm -hmm. Give us the spirit to go to that person and say, I'm sorry. I've hurt you. I've wronged you. Or, I forgive you because you've wronged me. Whether you realize it or not, this is what you did. That person might not even be aware mm. 
that Amen. they did us wrong or we did them wrong. They might not know unless we go and say, you know what, you hurt me. So, Father, please give us that courage to do that even today Amen. so that we can be right with you. Amen. We're going into a brand new year, Lord. Amen. We might not even make it into that new year. But help us, keep us, sustain us by your spirit. Sustain us by your heavenly angels. Watch over us, protect us. And please, Lord, we thank you for the message. Yes. We thank you for the messenger. Jesus. We thank you for using her today in a special way, Lord. Yes. And we will be careful to give you the praise mm -hmm. and the glory yes, and the honor. And everyone says, Amen. Amen. Amen.